All right, so if you have the issue that your scooter no longer turns on, the easy way to see if one of the cable might be disconnected or even damaged, uh, you're gonna remove the screws of the on the stem to be able to remove the headset, just like it was when it was uh, set up new. Uh, and you're gonna look at those cables to be sure that nothing is uh, pinched, you know, like this one, everything looks good. This is the cum cable, this is the headlight cable, and this is for the stem at the top. We realize that you can actually pull this cable out and there should it should not be loose like this it should be tight because it's fixed at the bottom of the stem okay uh, so if you you see that this is actually loose like this well this is a problem so what you're gonna do you're gonna put back the cable right here put back the headset in place so i'm gonna put all the wires inside always be careful to not pinch anything inside it's a very tight fit and now I'm gonna remove those brake cable. So to do so, I'm gonna align the spline here. Check me on that one. I'm gonna align the spline like this, and I'm gonna pull on the cable while pressing like this after, and take the cable out. You might want to loosen it at the brake caliper here to do so, you know? If uh, it's too hard to, to push, you might need to like give a little bit of, of slack on the line. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other brake handle. So for this one, you know, you align the ring here and then you align the other one so in my case like this so you see it's aligned then i press on it do this and i remove the cable then i'm able to completely remove the headset and i can even go ahead and disconnect it just to be sure i don't damage anything so that's gonna go here so it's important before you pull out the cum cable like I did, okay, the stem is gonna be connected. This is the stem light. Be sure to disconnect it. So when you pull it out, you don't put an unnecessary pressure on the stem light here at this level. Go to the next side. And then I'm gonna fold it like this. And I, you want to be able to pull this cable out a little bit. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna push on the brake cable a little bit inside. So you see I'm pushing it inside to give a little bit of slack here. And then I'm gonna take a big screwdriver like this and carefully pry the cable out like this. Like this. You see I'm pulling it out a little bit. Like this until I see the culprit, the cable that's not properly connected. So I'm just gonna go Grab the one that, that was here. You push it inside the stem here. It might be a little bit difficult because a brake line might be in the way. So actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the brake cable completely out. So it's gonna, get, it's gonna be a lot easier to do. So to do so, you want to remove those rubber ones right here, the rubber cover. So I'll do this to remove it. You can also just pull them out while pulling on the brake cable like this. You see, you remove one of them and you can actually go ahead and just cut a line in it because you're gonna need to do that to reinstall them and you, you're not gonna be able to tell uh, that you did a cut here. So just like this. And I'll do the same on the other side. So here, you see, I'm, uh, pulling it out while pulling on the rubber and it goes like this so you can either try to remove it like this or just cut it uh, it's gonna be easier if you cut it honestly and once it's installed you're not gonna be able to tell and I'll do the same thing here as before so I'll remove those brake cables like this and I'll remove the other one like this and now you know the connector inside is gonna be pretty much free to go so I will push it in completely. Now I'm seeing it right here, the cable. So I will just grab it like this. I will go ahead and connect it. And here you see there's a little line to connect it, like all our connectors. This is the same thing. So you just go ahead and connect it. And this is the step why disconnected before this middle ring was not screwed together. So you see now I'm screwing it and it's impossible to disconnect. 
Once this is done, I'll go ahead and refill the brake cables inside the stem and go out there. So this is what I'm gonna do now. So I'll take them, put them together in here like this. You see one of them, I'm lucky, just came out here. And for the other one, you just need to align it. So you see it's right there. You can just take a little screwdriver like this and pull this thing out like this. And now bam, my two brake cable are back there. And I'm gonna go here and just push back everything inside the stem like this. And you want to be sure you know that it's properly pushed. So when you fold it, it's not gonna pinch, you know, it needs to move freely. So then I do this. I make sure my cable are all passed at the top as well. And you can see if you lower the stem, the connectors are going in. And if you put it up, you have more slack here, right? So you might need to do this to be able to reconnect the, the headset afterwards. So now everything is connected. I'm gonna take my headset, just confirm that everything worked. I just plug the comp cable and I'll see if I can turn it on. Put this button, yes. So this was the issue. Now I'm having a bunch of error because nothing else is connected, but this is how you fix it. And you just need to make sure too, when you unfold it, that nothing gets pinched, you know, like my cable are moving freely inside like this, you know? So be sure that everything is pushed and your zip tie is as far as possible with this thing, like this. So, you know, it does get a little bit bigger, but it's not gonna pinch, you see? Like it's a free movement. And this is how I'm gonna do it. You see this zip tie move on it. I'll really go push as far as I can here, the zip tight, but to be sure it doesn't get out of this uh, mesh here. Same thing here. And all my cables are pulled. So when I fold it, you see there's really no restriction. It's normal that it's moving, it's gonna compress, but it's never gonna pinch. This is how you do it.